I'm going to show cutting the radius of hollow now with the old Wissota S8. This was made, I think, from 46 to the late 80s. And this disc right now was an 8-inch disc. And now it's been, it's been ground down to 7. And to get the smallest radius of hollow, I'm using the pivot point. There's three holes. One, two, three. I'm using the one that's right here. And that's the pivot is along this line. That line projects from here to here. That's where this arm swings from. So when I adjust the diamond in, this is the diamond. I'm going to go through and just kiss this right over here. And then, so the radius of hollow is from this pivot point to here, which turns out is one and a quarter inches. And that's what I went through in a previous video showing when the disc is ground down to a seven, worn down to seven inches in diameter, it's a one and a quarter radius of hollow. That's the minimum you can get. Um, otherwise, you'd have to go through and move, put the pivot out here, which a more modern machine does. The 911 does that. It has a movable piece for the adjustment. Blade Master does, Blackstone all the more modern ones but this is a video just showing the older machine from 1946 okay I've got the cover on just a little bit for safety this particular machine the disc turns counterclockwise that's because the gunk you can see get the deposits on this end machines that go this way you get deposits this way so first thing you do is make sure this diamond on any machine doesn't hit anything get it out of the way now I'm gonna get in here and get it close back off some. This particular machine you have to turn around way down here. And I'm going to go through and just advance it a little bit. And I just turn it just a little bit and keep on going back and forth. So I just kiss the stone. You see the spray? I got some paper here to catch it. Turn it just a little bit more. And I can put this up here, and I'll turn it off. And that's what dressing the stone looks like. And again, if you, this is your machine, you're the only person using it, you're responsible for the diamond. If you come off and you have somebody else's mess with this, you never want to go ahead and just, on any machine, go ahead and traverse this. Because if the diamond's sticking out, you're going to bust the diamond. So... Some of us go through just to be safe and we'll retract the diamond even more. Make a little bit more idiot proof. So the radius of curvature on this, the ROH from right here is one and a quarter inches. That's very large. It's almost like for an old goalie skate or something, but um, that's how these older machines were. Now if you move this pivot into here, and I move the pivot out here to a different hole, it's either going to be farther away because the pivot's going to be closer to this disc. You really want the pivot point to be, it has to be, if you want a half inch radius of hollow, it's got a pivot actually right there. Just like this is the surface of the earth, the center of the earth is here, the radius center core. So the pivot needs to be out here. So these older machines with uh, the pivots that are inboard like this, that's what you get. You're going to get a large radius of hollow. doesn't matter where this is adjusted or this, it's the relationship to where it swings by through here as a mechanism because that's what cuts the, cuts the arc on there. And the skate goes in here in the skate holder. You bring the skate over like this to sharpen it.